Okay, guys, welcome back. It's slime day again. And I want to revisit the clear base to slime. Not a clear slime, but a clear base. Because I really, really like the shiny, glistening, slippery slimes. So I'm going to go with the clear glue. This is the Elmer's clear glue. And I got that from Spotlight. And I'm going to do two cups. Oh, I just need a little stirring stick. So two cups going in. With the last one I did, I did the one with the shaving cream. Because it had the shaving cream that made up quite a lot of bulk. So I had only one cup of glue. But because I'm not using that in this recipe, I think I need to do two cups of glue. Alright, another one. You don't have to do two cups. I guess you could do a small batch and do one cup. But I think if you're going to go to the trouble of doing it, you might as well do a bigger batch. So two cups, 500 mils. Mm, not sure what that is in ounces. Divide 500 by 30. And that'll give you the ounces, okay? If you want to know that. Oops, better get that bit that dripped off the side. Hey, waste not, want not. Right, now I'll just put that on a piece of paper towel to keep that nice and tidy. Um, now I'm really debating whether or not to add water because last time, you know, I added the water and um, it took me a long time to get the activation right. But the water does make it really nice and soft and, and slimy. So um, I think I'd like to. But maybe, maybe just... Um, where's my water? This is just plain water in here. Let's just do one tablespoon of water. I was going to do like a quarter of a cup and then I and I thought, nah, I won't. I'll change my recipe here. Um, one tablespoon. I'm just writing down what I'm doing so that I can remember it for next time. Okay, let's stir that in. Hmm. Maybe I should have stuck with my quarter of a cup. That hasn't really done much at all. I'm going to go with my gut feeling and just put in a quarter of a cup, um, which is a quarter of a cup is 60. There it is. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. 60 mils. So I just won't fill this up. About three quarters. There we go. So that's a quarter of a cup. Now I've just scribbled on my little recipe. I'll change it back again. Quarter of a cup. I'll have to write it out again neatly. So two cups of glue, quarter of a cup of water. You probably don't need to add the water, but like I said, from the little experience that I have, I like the, the way that the water made the slime feel. Now the other thing I'm going to do differently today is... I'm not going to use the borax solution that I've got mixed up in here that I used for my two other slimes. I'm going to use this creature that I bought from um, Spotlight when I went there the other day. This is Elmer's Magical Liquid and it says add to Elmer's glue to make slime, replaces baking soda and contact solution. So if you read the instructions, it says um, you can add, start by adding two teaspoons of this liquid to four to six ounces of glue. So I've recalculated my 500 grams and that actually takes it up to, um, what did I work out? Six teaspoons which is two tablespoons. 
So that's what I'm going to do. But next I'm going to add in my hand lotion. This is just the Vaseline one. I just like the white bottle. So that's why I bought that one. Um, and we're going to do a tablespoon, which I think is like, I think it's three squirts. Shall we, shall we test that? Let's test that. One, two, three. Oh no, it's not. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do a tablespoon. Where's my stick gone? A tablespoon of lotion. Okay, well, that's nice to know that it's about ten squirts. I'll write that on there. Ten squirts. Okay, um, now the other thing I want to add is glycerine to make it nice and shiny. Um, and again, what did I do? Let me just have a little look because I want to see what I did when I used my big, my big batch of um, the gold. I did. Oh no, I did about a third of a cup of glycerine. So, okay, so I'm going to use a tablespoon again. Let's do a tablespoon of glycerine. Like so. So, a tablespoon of lotion, a tablespoon of glycerine, two cups of clear glue, and a quarter of a cup of water, and a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, let's mix that in. See, already because it's got the lotion in it, it's not going to be a clear glue, but that's fine. I'm more after, not even a, not even a trans, like a transparent or translucent. I just don't want it to be from an opaque white glue because then I don't think you're going to see the shimmer of my mica powder. And I really like that. So I think my slimes may be more on this sort of shimmery side. Um, now... Oh look, peppermint, green, this is called lime green, it's by Lorez Expressions, it's a uh, iridescent mica powder, so, oh, and I thought, well, if you're going to do green, you have to have peppermint, don't you, oh, it smells divine, half a teaspoon, going in, get it all out, And where did I get that from? That was just from the $2 store, actually. Um, now, mica powder. And I'm doing a teaspoon. One teaspoon. Ding! Of mica powder. I do also have some ink, alcohol ink. But I want to see what this looks like first before I add any um, alcohol ink. So let's see. Because this is an iridescent, it's got it's sort of got that um, goldish sort of a shimmer to it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it smells so good. I wish I could smell it. So minty fresh. Mm-mm-mm. So this is what I really like about using the clear glue is I can get this shimmer because you know when I did the pink one it's, it's in here you know when I did the pink one well it's lovely and all but you don't get the shimmer it's just sitting in there it hasn't sat overnight yet I only just made it um, let me get it off my hands so you don't get the shimmer and I really like Put it back in there. I really like the, the shimmer. <clears throat> so I don't think I'm going to add any ink to it. I, I just like it the way it is. So let's just do that. Now, the other thing we need to add is, let me check my recipe. Two cups of glue, one tablespoon of glycerine, one tablespoon of lotion, half a teaspoon of scent, one teaspoon of mica, quarter of a cup of water, magic ingredient. 
pretty thin. looks pretty thin. I don't even know what it's got in it. I haven't actually read the instructions. I should put it into a squeezy bottle. But that'll do. Um, so what do I need? I need... What did I say? I needed two tablespoons. Nope, a tablespoon's got lotion in it. Right, let's do one first. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of jelly-ish. I thought it was going to pour out like water, but it's more like jelly. Let's just put the one in first and mix that up. Because I, I thought, you know, the borax and water works fine. And I'm sure um, baking soda and contact lens liquid solution works fine too. But if you can get something that's just in the bottle already done, and it works, then go for it. But it's got to work. All right, this is two. So this is what I've calculated I needed. But in saying that, the... Instructions on the bottle, it said start with. So I'm starting with, because it said start with two teaspoons for four to six ounces. And then my 500 mils start with two tablespoons. So obviously I'm going to need a lot more. And also I've got the water content in here as well. So that's two, three. And I'll keep a note on this so that I can record it so I know what to do next time. Okay, that's three. It's not doing much yet. It's pretty expensive, this bottle. I think it was $20 for the bottle. Oh, what was that? Was that four? Is that four? It is starting to feel thicker now. I guess if I hadn't to put the water in, it wouldn't take so much to make it thicker. Five, six, six, all right. So it's starting to thicken. It's going to take a lot if that was six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven. Eight. I think it's probably going to be much cheaper doing it the other way using the borax because, you know, you get a lot out of a jar of borax if you're only using one teaspoon in a cup of water. say eight nine ten oh my gosh it's 150 mils already that's like over half a cup okay it's starting to be a little bit more difficult to stir now <laughs> I nearly dropped the bowl look at that color Okay, um, so 10, well, I'm up to 10, okay, here we go, 11, 12, 12, I should be writing this down, hopefully you guys are remembering, I'm just going to walk around here and make sure that we're still taping, I had issues with my camera turning itself off and I end up just talking to myself. Okay, so it's going slimy now, as you can see, but still nowhere near where it should be for me to get my hands in there and start kneading. Okay, so that was 12. My gosh, this is going to take a lot. I think once I've used this bottle, I'm not going to buy it again. It's too expensive if you're going to use, like, so much. All right, that's 14. But I thought, look, I'll, I'll try it, you know. 
but it's like anything if you pay for convenience don't you so if something's pre-mixed for you it's going to cost you more because you don't have to do it yourself I'm just trying to scrape the sides off <laughs> oh look at that it's such a lovely slime color still too thin though to get my hands in there let's do another one and take it up to 15 tablespoons that's a lot oh my gosh oops what have I got in there piece of glitter or something I do want to do one with some glitter I bought some gold glitter I'll try and pick this up so that I'm not shaking the table. Okay, so now it's getting a little bit more difficult to, to stir. Now, is this the stage that I need to get my hands in there? No, because look, it's still, it's still really sticky. So I'm not going to put my hands in there yet. I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more. All right, we're up to 15, 16, 17, 17, wow. Although I did, I did use quite a lot when I made my gold one, didn't I? I did use quite a lot. The thing with, um, where is it? The glycerine, it, it does the opposite to what the activator does like it thins your slime out so you need to add more activator just to combat the fact that you've got the glycerine in there do you know what I mean but the glycerine just gives it a gorgeous shine it really does so that's what I like about it I might add a little bit of gold to this actually just to because it's, I mean, I can see the gold sheen in there, but I just think a little bit of extra gold would be really pretty. And I've got one that I think will work nicely. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can't find it. Where is my interference gold? I can't find it. Hang on, I'm going to have to put you on pause and go and find it. Found it. It was right there when I, where I was looking. It was tucked in the back. Interference gold. Bling it. It's just a really, really pale gold. It's almost a cream. Let's put some of that in there. It's probably about a teaspoon. And we're going to add another two tablespoons of this, which takes it up to a grand total of 20. 20 tablespoons. Surely that's enough. Surely to goodness. Let's mix that mica in. If for some reason you over-activate it, um, you can just add some glycerine and it will take it back to how you want it. Alright, let's give this a stir. And hopefully I don't need to add any more of that magical liquid. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Let's just tip that out. And... Hope for the best. Hey, okay. hope for the best, expect the worst, is what they say. Still really sticky, but does it does it get thicker as you stretch and knead, or does it get thinner? What do you guys reckon? 
I should put some more interference gold in it. I'm loving that interference in it. Oh, the smell. Every time I do, I move my hands, the smell just wafts up. It's really sticky still. Okay, so maybe I didn't need that extra quarter of a cup of water. How about I do another one, not today, but further down the track, and just see what the difference is in A, the consistency of the slime um, without the water, and maybe you don't need so much activator. Right, let's do another one. 21 today, 21 today. Mix that in, because it's just, you know, it's just too slippery to play with, I think, when it's like that. You don't want it sticking to your fingers, you know, too much, do you? A little bit. I remember when I was a young girl and I had green slime. It was bright green slime, though. It looked like radioactive material. It did kind of stick to your hands like that, like, like this. And I remember, uh, that's what I loved about it, because it was so slimy and sticky all right I'm gonna go with another one and take it up to 22 because two two is my lucky number I was born on the 22nd we used to live at number 22 my my first child my son he was born on the second at two minutes past two go figure after a 22 hour labor that was, I don't know why that's my lucky number, but yeah, it's just bizarre. Like two has always been in my, in my life, number two. You guys got lucky numbers or maybe unlucky numbers, but some sort of significant number in your life. Mine's two. Oh, look at this. It's better. It's staying a little bit right, risen, risen, rather than just flopping straight out. Oh, look at that. See what I mean about the shimmer? If you want to use the clear glue, you get that shimmery shine. Now I do want to add some more interference. I'm going to add another. I probably only added half a teaspoon last time, wasn't it? About that. So that's a teaspoon. I changed my recipe here to two teaspoons of mica. Oh my gosh, I just sprayed it everywhere. I'm going to have to go and pick it up. Oh, look at it. What a mess. Okay, so don't do that. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. That's picking it up. All right, let's mix in this extra bit of interference gold. I don't see why there's any reason why you can't mix your color in afterwards. You know, if you want a little bit of extra color. Let's just go around and make sure that we're still taking. Yes. Sorry, it's a bit boring for you. It's a bit boring for you, isn't it? I know, I'm sorry. So, I think it still is, would you say it's still a little bit soft? It depends what you're after. It really depends on what you're after. If you compare it to my gold, let me get my gold out. Ugh, let me get my gold out. Kaplonk. Don't touch now. Stay separate, you two. Okay, so the gold is sitting up. Whoops, you're encroaching. Ah, no touching. It's like the young ones at the movies. No touching. It is sitting up higher, isn't it? This is my gold one that I made. I'm in love with my gold one. Alright, so... Feel, feel. All right, this one's more crunchy. I'm gonna, so it's it's a better consistency. Let me put you back in your container. Ah, there we go. You can come out and play later on. All right, so going by that one, I do need to add another tablespoon. So goodbye, number twenty-two. Here comes number 23. Oh my gosh. Alright, so definitely next time 
I won't add the extra quarter of a cup of water because this is using so much of this magical liquid. Look, it goes all squishy like this. It kind of everything separates and then it comes back again after a while. Do you like that colour? It's a little bit of mica that I left behind. I'm sorry if it's taking so long, but... Alright, I still don't think that's quite enough, you guys. I'm going to do one more. 24. My two girls are both born on the 24th. One's the 24th of October and one's the 24th of December. And 24 has got a 2. And then 4 is 2 plus 2. So, yeah, it's just my 2's all over again. Right, so this is 24 tablespoons, isn't it? Oh my gosh, how much, how much is that? So... If you if you if you know what you're doing with slime, you I mean it must be boring you to tears. But if you're new like me, maybe you're interested in watching me do this because you know it's the only way you learn. I think is by trial and error. Okay, it's sitting up a little bit higher. I am going to round it off with ta da twenty five, just because it's a nice round number and. Oh God, hopefully this is going you know, to be enough, okay? Because I think I've used, I've used about a third of a bottle. <laughs> it's a $20 bottle and I've used a third of it to make two cups of slime. Whee, get back in there. But I wanted to try it out. But look, it's much cheaper doing your, your borax mix. You know, if I had to use a third, what is that? That's, um... Okay, that's, so that's that's one quart. So it's it's a, a litre, which means I've used about 300 mils of water. Yeah, see, I don't need that extra quarter of a cup of water, do I, if I'm going to be adding so much liquid to it. But I don't know if, if it would have been the same with the borax, you know, whether I would have still added 300 mils. I just know that that's a third, so it's about 300 mils that I've added to it. I've got verbal diarrhea today. I just talking, 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 talking. All right, how's that looking? Is that better? It's still spreading. It's making nice popping, cracking noises. It's still nice and slimy I love slime <gasps> oh my gosh you people that follow me with the acrylic pouring and then followed me with resin are probably thinking what in the world woman what are you doing but look I'm just having fun I'm on holidays I've got to go back to work at the end of the week but I'm on holidays and I just want to do a bit of fun stuff you know I've been doing acrylic pouring for oh my gosh four or five years now. It's just nice to have a break. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a massage. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put it into its little container with the, oh look, it's got a matching green lid. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow and we'll see how it, how it ends up after it's sat overnight and, and degassed. Thanks for watching you guys. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's been a couple of days. So let's have a look at our green minty slime. It's all bubbly on top. All right, let's have a little look, hey? See what it's going to look like on the other side. Oh, look at that. Oh, how pretty is that? Can you see that shimmer? So pretty. I don't know if the camera can pick it up all that well, but it's so pretty and shimmery. And the gold. Look at that gold just coming through. It's so pretty. 
and the smell of mint is just amazing. <laughs> oh, all right, let me just get it into a little ball here. All right, oh, it's popping and cracking and doing all those things. Look at it, it's all wobbly. So cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it all. I might pack it into little containers and just give it away to the neighbours' kids or take it to work and see if any of my colleagues would like to take some home for their kids. Somebody would love it, wouldn't they? Let's see how it drops and folds. Oh, it's probably too thick, <laughs> uh, as in a, a huge big piece. But we need to hold it up a little bit higher to get it to <laughs> fall down a little bit easier. <laughs> Oops, I'm going the opposite way now. It's holding its shape nicely. Yep, here comes a big blob. So much fun. Look at it. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. That was a lot of fun to make. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoying these little slime videos wobble 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 and um i'll see you for the next one i'm gonna do a few more recipes all right thanks for watching bye for now